Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on uh, on all the all the important places on uh, YouTube Medium and uh, YouTube Medium and uh, Daniel Rose Tech. So basically, I have now got my Synology D DSN20 Plus NAS uh, up and running, and uh, and uh, at this point in time, what I am now doing is looking at the intended purpose of uh, ba of backups. So. Um, let me just, I've explained this already in several videos, but why not just explain wh where, what all this is fitting into. Um, so I have my uh, backup documentation documented here on GitHub under my master backup strategy is what I call it. Um, and what we're going to be doing, so typically for my local backups from this Linux desktop, what I do is I keep four, uh, well, let's forget about the Windows one, I keep three um, SSDs in my computer and uh, one of these is just for time shift. Time shift is based on rsync uh, which is a differential backup methodology and um, I'll just explain in a second before we start this exactly exactly what that means and then I take a harder backup onto Clonezilla. Clonezilla is a full backup. A full backup is the easiest one to explain it just backs up the entire system differential uh let me let me just go through this now uh differential versus incremental backup so differential backup uh yeah copy of all items changed since last full backup so you have full and then differential um so that means that the blocks are relatively uh relatively big um an incremental backup which you're going to see in a second that basically um, each time that it runs it likewise starts from a full but then the, each time it runs it's backing up um, since the last incremental job uh, so basically you need a uh, it's going to be faster because it's going to be smaller chunks if you think about it like every time you're just backing up you're just comparing to the last job and the last job compares to the job before that and before that and before that so ultimately the slices are going to be smaller but the problem and uh, I can't put it better than this in some cases, the backup software requires all iterations of the incremental backup for data restoration. If one piece, so it's like a chain basically. And uh, the weakness, that's the weakness. If you have a failing storage media with corrupted sectors and just one of the chains, or one of the chains didn't run properly, one of the incremental backups. This, you know, in order to restore, if your system collapses on Friday here, in order to, rest, you know, you'd need uh, Thursday's backup, Wednesday's backup, Tuesday's incremental backup, Monday's and if it failed at this point you wouldn't be able to get uh, the data. Again it depends on the backup program. A differential backup you start, the, the first time you run a differential is the heaviest because you're starting that full backup um, and that's what it compares against every time that it runs basically. Okay. Uh, again, depending on the backup software, can you get various uh, snapshots? Or, uh, you know, so you c what I'm going to do in uh, DSM is just create one. Uh, I keep thinking of in S3 lingo here, one um, uh, bucket, um, but they're called. If I go into, and they're not managed. It's disconcerting. They're not managed in file station. They're managed actually in a shared folder here. So I went ahead and created Daniel Desktop Backups and uh, I'm actually just going to go ahead and wipe that because I decided that there's no need to economize when it comes to folders and I'm going to give uh, GR Sync, which is what I'm going to show you firstly, I'm going to give it its own uh, folder over here. So that's just deleted. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to create a new shared folder on my network and I'm going to call this um, Daniel Desktop Backups underscore, I'm just going to use that to distinguish between the GR Sync. So uh, GR Sync, as we said, it's a G, it's basically a GUI for R Sync. So you, this is just saving you the kind of legwork. And there's other G, there's other, of course, in Linux. There's always multiple options, but the key I find in Linux is to find one good thing for each um, each common thing. Actually, I'm just going to prepend the GR Sync because I might get kind of hard to see if it's at the bottom. So GR Sync Daniel Desktop Backups. Um, I'm just going to description backing up Daniel's desktop to Synology uh, over uh, over GR Sync. And I always like to just know, uh, I'm going to write here differential. That's why I really like to know GR Sync to say, 
I like to know exactly what methodology we're using. Again, in my diagram, uh, time shift incremental. I think that should actually be differential if it's based on rsync. Um, uh, and then clonezilla is a full disk image. So I'm going to try, did not have success. I actually just had a hitch trying to get uh, clonezilla. For some reason, that's not clear to me over SSH. Uh, but I'm sure I'll figure that out tomorrow. Um, so what I'm going to do now is set this up. So I've just given it my description, grsync. Uh, I'm not going to use encryption and uh, boom and I'll be able to get my own uh, permissions onto that uh, so I by default have read write access and uh, there we go so GR sync so now what now the next thing that I'm going to need to do is uh, figure out some way to just get this onto my uh, make a bookmarks so that it's easily easy to get access to um, so I'm just going to click into uh, files over here and you can see that I have the uh, NAS already bookmarked and it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit on the buggy side uh, it must be said all these various file managers um, so what I need to do is just connect to NAS so if just give me one second I'm just gonna get alright so basically the easiest way I find is to click on is go to your network and uh, it'll find what whatever is on the network so I actually have I can see um, everything I can see the whole NAS and all the various folders within it here so what I've done uh, basically the reason that these folders homes and home exists is because uh, in order I actually set this up in order to get the uh, SSH running um, you need to go into user and uh, under the advanced settings this bottom thing enable user home service I needed to I needed to enable that in order to in order to um, when I SSH'd in on port 22 that it would actually have somewhere to show uh, to land <laughs> to land so to speak um, yeah so basically you need to do that and uh, let me just get out of this so that's why that exists and uh, it creates in uh, packet center sorry in uh, file station it creates for you this homes which has everybody and home um so all i need to do is just go on to gr sync the one we just created and i'm just going to quickly bookmark this and i'm just going to call it gr sync um you can see the network address uh usually actually connects over smb um, but once it's there, once we go into uh, GR Sync, we should be able to quickly uh, put that as our destination. Now I will go into GR Sync, open that up, the tool of GR Sync, and here we go. Uh, this is from the last time I just ran it. So basically, it's very simple. You have here source and destination. So I'm just going to do a full. Um, I'm going to do a full backup here. Um, from the root of the file system so just uh, one forward slash and uh, this is why ah, you can see that it's mounted I think that's another thing if you bookmark it so uh, I can just pick it up and uh, you can see that's the main point of uh, of this uh, of of this folder in the NAS now uh, I've included preserve permissions and preserve owner and preserve time um, it's 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 a basic full file system uh, backup that we're running here over rsync uh, you can go into advanced options and you can see uh, I think you can exclude stuff in this there's an exclusion option uh, but I'm not going to do that I mean you don't actually need to back up all these folders never do you need to back up the full the full uh, Linux file system but I'm just going to do it for the sake of uh, showing this one uh, so that's basically it and then all you need to do over here you do have an option for simulation if you want to do that um, you can switch source and destination quickly but I don't need to do that because they're configured correct and really you just click on uh, there's one more thing you can you can see w what you would need to run if you do change your mind about using a GUI a GUI and you want to open up the command line uh, you could just type that in so I'm just but I'm just gonna use this for the sake of making life easy easier execute and uh, you have your output here and uh, now it's running and you can see it's backing up um, it's backing up the entire system. The beauty of our sync, unlike uh, Clonezilla, and again, I like Clonezilla just because I think it's hard and it gives you nice images and it's full. It's every time you run it, it's a full uh, system backup. So that's my kind of like uh, fail-safe backup. I use time shifts, uh, as I've mentioned, uh, and I think that what this could do, um, you know, this wouldn't fulfill 
time shifts ability to create uh, different uh, restore points you know at snapshots this would just give you one backup uh, it's more I'd say for its redundancy in other words that uh, you know you could run this at various intervals but that would give you one snapshot effectively that you could restore from if needs be um, there would be ways that you could configure you know you could create a few different folders in that destination and uh, and create and create backups that way but uh, it's a it's a manual approach so this is just kind of a simple tool for running rsync with a little bit of GUI in your favor it's not kind of a full-fledged automated you know there's no automation here scheduling um, you know that's at least as far as I can tell I hope I didn't miss anything um, but I'm you know this is a good one to start out with just to see uh, how you can get an rsync backup running onto the NAS so let's just see if it's running and we can do that very easily from DSM clicking on grsync and there we go we can see that it's in the process of building out the uh, building out the file system on the NHS and uh, you know the way thing these things run is typically it'll build the folders first and then it'll start populating the, the, the actual file. So if I go into boot, oh, we can see there's already, uh, it's already actually uh, dropped some files in there. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep running this, um, but uh, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to uh, show the whole process in this video. So thank you for watching. That was the first of our Linux backups onto Synology and the tool we used here was called GRSync.